morning everybody videoing with the gopro hero 11 today and it is officially project time it's time to make try to make good on this fence i'm not a fencing expert but i know we've had some damage back here probably in certain spots the uh, fence over here needs to have some reconstruction done to it let's take a closer look this sags a little bit but i'm not so concerned about this this ain't going anywhere this is the uh this is the part that concerns me over here obviously is where the damage was done so i have to make sure i'm not going to do anything to compromise the integrity when i start to take this apart that's the important thing i don't want to do more damage to this but uh, I did pick up some uh, material I'll show you over here I also have a wheel you can see it there for the for the wheelbarrow I think that that's gonna function a lot better than what I got oh I got a big crow up there going crazy how he's doing and here's the material I got over here Some more of this stuff. I got some of this slotted redwood for the base and for the top so I'll put that down trying to save the slats that we have I don't know if it's gonna work out demo is going pretty good I'm gonna try to save all the boards I can because the redwood lasts a real long time and I can always put a little oil on this too. So next thing I need to do, I'm going to try to put this top section uh, on first here. Get that in position. Then I can position the bottom and uh, get rid of this one. I've got, I'm going to use the Sawzall because these, these fences are built in a running manner from left to right. So they're screwing into the uh, posts. We're not going to be able to do that here. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So I need to cut these off. Just a word of caution with any project involving sawing, any demolition. You should always wear protective eye gear. One down, we just need to get this other one. I'm going to get this from the other side. That one's so loose, I think I'm going to get some vice grips and I'm going to pull it through. It's bouncing around too much to be cut. came in pretty good I'm going to be using one slat to keep that in position it'll be what we call the uh, truth board here it'll help get the alignment of how high I need to raise the redwood base here and obviously it'll be higher but I can use this is slightly warped but I can use that to close the bottom and get a little more uniform uh, once we get this into position, so I've got this pretty much snug over here And I just need to mark this a little oversized. I want to drive this down. Yeah, I have some more of those screws to remove And I'm gonna do that now Instead of schlepping the extension cord around I'm gonna use the portable power
so we got the bottom base cut the length off. let's get some screws we might have to pre-drill to prevent splitting since we're going to be toenailing in uh, as opposed to being able to come through the side we have to hook these at an angle but the, the weight's not that much so it shouldn't be a big deal so let me see the selection i have in the shop we'll be on it it's really important when you're doing any kind of carpentry that you always seek a level and i used to like to i like to use a nice Spirit level here just to make sure we are bubble in the middle and nice and level. Go, I'm starting infill here to make sure we get the right uh, to make sure we get the right height. Some are a little higher, a little longer than others, but I think it'll all work out. I can always lower that side down there slightly to make sure that these are all encapsulated. It's going along pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I've got all the slats back in place. And yeah, I tried to keep the original slats because this is old growth redwood and it tends to last and last and last and last and last. So I've also got it screwed in at various places. It should be a little bit flexible too to be able to uh, move with the wind. And I'm going to come behind and put the uh, I <laughs> put a bottom trim piece on there. Uh, also, it's missing a piece on the end, so I just blocked it up with some pressure treated lumber on the end, and I think it looks pretty doggone good. Right. Got a little tiny bit of a bow in the middle, but uh, just the wood itself might have been sitting out in the rain a little bit. And I'm going to try to uh, cut the slats now and get that into position. You can see the old one here. It's pretty busted up. Ooh. And I'm going to use that as a, a guide template. I'm going to add about uh, ooh, maybe, oh, maybe three quarters of an inch to it. Let's get on with that. Get this all laid out for the proper height here. All along. So I think I'm going to use the um, jigsaw, which I call saber saw, and get this cut up. from over here I think that cut job marked that up and cut that perfectly oh yeah that looks great that looks great so what I want to do now I guess I could have been a little more careful with wood selection with the slight bow but it was a good price and it'll straighten itself I, I want to get some trim uh, strips to put on both sides to capture the lattice work so it doesn't come out and to make sure we're never going to have any slats come out the bottom here so I'm going to go off to the lumber yard and grab that but that's looking pretty doggone good 
Back from the lumber yard, we've got a good uh, trim. That looked nice the way I've trimmed that out, so this isn't going to go anywhere. And I only have to secure it from one side over here. So I'm working on the bottom now. Getting that all in place. Guys ready for the final big reveal? There it is. Yes. Got a different lattice, which I don't really care about. That cost twice as much, that old school stuff. I care about this down here being up. Off the ground. I also like the fact that I use so much of the uh, original wood because old growth redwood is much much better than the uh, new growth redwood it's harder it lasts longer and this is proof positive this fence has probably been here about 40 years maybe 50 years and it's still going strong mission accomplished thank you guys for being along on another rancho project as i've always said there's always something to do here for sure i got wheels to change out on the wheelbarrows and trees to prune so if you're not subscribed i hope you'll take a minute to subscribe hit the bell for all notifications and be part of the daily fun here especially if you like projects thumbs up or appreciate it thanks everybody